Hey guys and welcome to another episode. Today in this video I'm going to be doing the second easiest DIY you can do. Now if you're wondering what's the easiest DIY, wait till the next video comes out in this series and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But in the meantime, today I'm going to show you how to install aftermarket pedals on your car. Now for the Golf, there's slip-on pedals that are currently on it right now and that's the stock pedals that are hooked up to it. If we come down here, if you look down here you can see that we've got these rubber pedals that are attached onto each one of these arms. So we've got our clutch pedal right here on the left, we have our brake pedal in the middle, and our gas pedal on the right. So we're going to be replacing all three of these with new aluminum ones. Well they're aluminum and rubber, so they look a little bit better, and you're still going to get the same grip because of the rubber inserts in each one of them. So to get started, you're going to have to just basically peel off and pry off each one of these rubber pieces that are on the pedal. So all that it is, say for this one, is a little piece like this that's sitting on top of the metal. So if you look on the back side of it, you should be able to detect on what parts you can pull and pry on it in order to get the OEM pedal off. So just find a corner and start lifting. So with the pedal removed, just to make it so that the pedal goes on nicely, I'm going to be cleaning up this little area right here with a towel and a little bit of cleaner. Now with that clean, you can then grab your new pedal and slide it over top of the metal part. So you just slide it and twist it over on top of the pedal. So just double check, go over all the corners and make sure that it's all on. You shouldn't be able to pull it off and twist it. So when you push on it and play around with it, it shouldn't want to move or come off. So with one down, we've got two more to go. So we have our brake and gas pedal that we need to remove. So next up we have the brake pedal. So we'll just find the little area that has like this little fat section on it and pry it off. That might be a little bit difficult, but if you're more persistent than the pedal is on there, it'll come off. Now keep in mind that because we're replacing these, we don't need to save them. Now for this pedal right here, there's a little stub that goes through the back side of it. If you can see it right here. And we're going to have to push that from the back side of the pedal upwards in order to get the pedal out. So when you're trying to fish this up, push on the back side of it and it should come up like that. Now because this is dirty, I'm going to be doing the same thing as before, and I'm going to put some Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner on a terry cloth. And then just wipe down the entire section. So as you can tell, we've got our old pedal right here and our new one right here. Now if you switch them over and spin them on the back, you can see that they're the exact same thing. So we've got the little section right here that needs to go through the pedal, and you've got this fat section over here. So just make sure that you're installing the correct pedal and make sure that you're not installing the clutch pedal, so the one that we already installed on the car, instead of where the brake pedal needs to go. So grab your brake pedal and just slide it on. So grab the brake pedal, make sure you feed that little thing on the back side in the middle of here. And then make sure that the rest of the pedal is inserted over top. Now with it secured like this in place, grab your hand and make sure that, oops, where'd it go? That, that little tab goes through the back side of the pedal. And double check, and for us, it does. So just secure the two little tabs on the side in place, and the brake pedal is done. Now once you have the pedal in, if you want to make sure that it's in there properly, sit in the driver's seat and push on the brake pedal. You know, really push on it, go to town, and do the same thing for the clutch. It's gonna make sure that it's installed properly, and that it's not gonna go anywhere. Alright, now next up is going to be the gas pedal. Now the gas pedal is going to be slightly different than the other pedals that we were working on in the fact that there's no actual part that slips on. This entire piece is one piece. So this little pedal right here and the arm are all connected and they're all built in as one unit. So the way that you install this aftermarket pedal is you just slip it on. So just grab the pedal, the new one that we have right here, slip it over top of the existing pedal. Make sure that it connects on both sides and snaps on. Just like that. And then at that point, we're done. So with those pedals now secure, we're good to go and take the car for a spin. And just like that, you guys can install aftermarket pedals on your car in a matter of no time. If you guys have any questions regarding this install, throw them down in the comment section below and I'd be happy to help. Again guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.
Now this type of install for pedals is meant for slip-on pedals. I'll be installing a set of drill-in pedals down the road, but in the meantime, this video is gonna be coming out now.